Hello everyone, and welcome back once again to three short horror games. Our first game of the night is Deadlight Greenlight. A game from patrons, actually, Nick and Tressa. Uh, to Nick and Tressa, I'm sorry it took me so long to get to this. It's been a while since I've done one of these videos, but it has been at the top of the list ever since you linked me to it. Now, I was told that it's sort of inspired by the creepy and comfy vibe. Look, we can just barely see the light reflecting in the atmosphere from behind that dead hill. Streetlights hanging over this road. A dark old house with the lights on. Well, let's see what this is like. Ooh. Stay in the light. Do not look behind you. Move forward. Oh, so is that our house in the distance? And we just need to make sure we get there at any cost? Okay, let's move forward, stay in the light. And above all, don't turn around. Oh, this is so cool. This is like all my most paranoid nights. Uh, there's a missing person poster, but I can't even chase Brady, age nine. I can hear that breath right behind me. <laughs> the house seeming so close yet so far. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. No, no, no. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, we're in the light. And as we step into the light, that breathing fades away. Okay, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. This reminds me of all those times I've been walking in a neighborhood I don't recognize, and all of a sudden, spooky thoughts just creep into my head. Mm hmm. That's the thing, is that once that happens, it's all over. You are in from going from a cozy night to a creepy one in an instant. There we go. Huh? Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. I've just realized how this probably works. Come on. Eh. Yeah, I just realized how this probably works. I've just realized how this probably works. There's probably... I think there's something physically behind me creeping closer and closer. As we go, 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 cross the street, cross the street, cross the street, cross the street, into the light, into the light, into the light, into the light, into the light! Oh my god, that was actually, you know what, that was short. That was less than three minutes record time. But it was actually terrifying. And just like when you're on your way home, those last few seconds before you reach the door, when you're fumbling with your keys, thankfully we didn't have to deal with that here. Those are when you expect to feel that hand on the back of your neck. This was a simple game, but you know what? It captures the vibe so perfectly. This is a, I'm gonna have more to say about this. Hang on, let's get back in there. Uh, wait, I've lost my... I've lost my mouse. I actually love how it starts us out in the daylight, giving us a sense of what this street is like. Every house almost resembles a classical haunted mansion from every children's storybook. And we have nothing but a direct line of sight, a runway, so that our salvation is always in sight, and yet always seems like it's a million miles away. This is a game about that late night walk paranoia, and it just captures it so well. Uh, something on the side to indicate that there may be some reason why... Some reason why we may not be safe out here. Very notably, none of these other houses have their lights on. Stop. No, I will not stop. I don't know if I heard that whisper before. Maybe I was too panicked. Okay, go, 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 go. Come on now. Come on now. Kick in. What happens? Obviously, I'm going to have to see what happens if I do indeed turn around. Stop. Oh, you are there! Oh, a shadow and a red mist. Oh, God. None of the... Oh, God! What are you? Hang on, wait, wait, wait. It's two figures. And you're faster, I think, when I... Turn around. Oh 
Oh god, go, 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 We're not gonna make it, we're not gonna make it, we're not gonna make it! We just made it. Okay, I have to find out what happens when... I have to find out what happens when we don't make it, obviously. Alright. I was gonna say, darkness, take me, but look, in the beginning... <laughs> in the beginning, you're just stopped there. Well, it's probably because I was under the light, actually. But you know. Stop. Alright, what happens? What happens? What happens? In the middle of all of that, was there the sound of flies? Alright, well, that was Dead Light Green Light, and that was, you know, like I said, short and sweet. I just love this idea. Not only for the pun, but because it's essentially a game about satisfying your paranoia. I mean, if you were actually being stalked, what would standing in the streetlight do? Nothing. But you feel better. This is a game about feeling unsafe and trying to get to safety, both on the long-term goal of reaching your house and in the short term of staying in these much less reliable streetlights. If I were to have one criticism, I would say that maybe it's a little on the easy side, only because once I turned around, I realized you could basically, like, stare at the thing and moonwalk back into your house, and it wasn't much of a challenge, although I suppose it almost got me at the end there. However, it almost doesn't matter, <laughs> because for however easy it might have been, it certainly didn't feel that way the first time around. Next up... The Other Side, a game in which we are trapped in a metal prison, a prison which we've apparently always been in, and longing for a glimpse at the other side, at what's beyond these walls. Our overseers won't let us, but, well, I guess we're determined to see what that is. Shelter number one, official civil guidelines. You do not talk about going outside. You do not think about going outside. This place keeps us safe from the dangers of the outside. Out there there is death. Out there there is nothing. I believed that once. Until an explosion unfolded on the surface level. The crowd that gathered there. They all saw. And nobody was surprised when they were missing the next day keep people in a metal box, one must show power. But they forgot one person. And I saw, all right. It's time to leave. Now that is interesting. See, obviously it's going to be our instinct as a player and as a human to try and escape. We know that we don't like it here, we know that we want what's out there. But we actually have no idea what the situation is. We have no idea what danger we've been told is out there. Well, presumably it's actually pretty unspecific. We have no idea who these people are that are holding us here. Uh, interact, left click and E, drop item with Q, options escape. Yeah, that is our only option. Everything I need to start drilling is in here. To get started, I should use the computer. Uh, we're taking the courage the cowardly dog method, huh? Uh, now, I can't quite see in the dark back here, but it seems like what we're going for is... It's sort of an apartment and a prison cell, almost like the vaults in Fallout. We have some degree of autonomy, but ultimately we have to play by the rules. Uh, casing parent calibration. Failed. Insert drill into casing for diagnostic report. Uh, so here's our boy. Uh, so we have to unclamp it from the vise. And place it into... Where was... Oh, right here. There we are. We've come a long way ourselves, I guess. Uh, no, press any key to continue. All systems operational. Press any key to continue. Wow, oil, coolant, battery... This thing is actually fairly complex. 
Although I, I guess a drill of this size would probably need something to cool the drill bit as it goes through metal, right? Caution, drilling in progress. Keep safe distance from casing. Drilling will automatically stop when an error is found. Okay, so we've got to keep it going and we've got to keep our activities hidden. Oh, look at it go. Look at this place. This is our whole existence. Uh, is there any way we can see what's going on back here? Presumably that's our living quarters. Uh-oh. The drill has stopped. Uh, drill bit function. Drilling unable to start. Okay, okay. Hang on. Uh, can we remove you? Place you there. Okay, we need a new drill bit. Hmm. I wonder if there's going to be some risk of getting caught. It looks like here's another broken one. Uh, do we have any spares? Ah, oh, right here. Okay, let's take one. Place you... There. Hello? Oh, do we have to remove the old one first? Oh, wait. Maybe I can use tools on, like, individual components? Because this looks kind of like that. There we go. Okay, so we have to unlock the drill bit. And we can take that out. Grab a new one. And stick you in there, presumably. Uh, maybe if we put this in now. Leave it there. Okay, it's got to stay there. And then we can do it. Okay, so it basically functions to hold the lock open. And now we should be good to go. I do wonder if there's going to be a risk of getting caught. All looks good. It seems like there's an entirely failed attempt over here. We've been at this for a while. Uh, actually, if we look at the jaggedness, it sort of looks like we've cut through before, maybe using a more crude method, and now something else has been laid down on top. Oh, you're stopped again. Uh, now you're out of battery. Okay, so let's remove you once more, plop you there. And we can remove this, but where do we get another one? Right here. Right? Is that a battery? Oh, we've got to charge it. Okay. So boop and boop. Wow, that is some fast charge given how much something like this must use. But this whole time, it just feels like something is rapidly moving in on me, like I could be discovered at any time. Uh, there's all those, like, howls on the ambient soundtrack. Does that represent me desperately wanting to climb out of this tomb, or is it the dangers of the outside trying to warn me? Okay, well, we've got our drill operational again. Get in there, you. All looks good. We're a lot of the way there. Actually, given that... Given that outer wall... Imagine if we cut through this thing and on the other side we just find nothing. Okay, coolant and oil are low. I think I already know how to do that. If I can get up there, thank you. Uh, there's no jump or crouch in this, uh, so I think we're going to need this to undo those bolts, those screws. There we are. And we need... Uh, which is which... Okay, well, you're red, so you probably go in here. There we are. And you're blue. Alright. Come on, close now. Close, please. Thank you. This is probably what I imagine you would be feeling in a situation like this. The ambiance actually goes a long way towards conveying that feeling of, yeah, this is something you've always wanted, but are you sure? Oops, nope. Gotta release this. 
and put you up there. And now you should be good to go with a new diagnostic report. There we go. You're getting less and less far each time, though. Come on, so close I can taste it. So close. Layer 1 of 2 drilled. Press any key to start drilling layer 2. Alright, so we've gotten through that one. Uh, I get it. So we've already done this once before. And all it is is trying to... Like, it's not a failed attempt. It's not welded back over. We just haven't gone all the way through. Uh, layer will activate shelter security measures. Reminder, there is no coming back. Wow, we wrote a lot of ominous messages into the software that we presumably created. One, two, three, four, that was just the tutorial. Five. All right, go, go, go. We've gotta be ready to act fast, I think. No. No, security arrives in five minutes. Okay, uh, 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 what's, what's the problem? What's the problem? Go, 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 go. Uh, we need to be ready on the draw. Five minutes, five minutes, five minutes. That could be plenty of time depending on how this goes, but we've really got to make sure we do this right. We cannot afford to screw around anymore. Uh, that's one fourth of the way, presumably. Actually, probably not quite. Oh, this feels so long. Battery and drill bit function. Okay. Uh, you up. Uh, let's take you first. Go. Go. Meanwhile, uh, drill bit function. Drill bit function. You. There. You're out. You. Come on. In. You out again. Ah, oh, we gotta wait for this still. Don't have time for this. I I don't imagine I can top off on the oil, but it, it'll be too slow anyway. Um. Wow, this is a world I was just introduced to a few minutes ago, and my heart is racing. Uh, come on now. All right, go. There you are. Uh, open up. Open up. Place you there. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, cool. Cool. Go. Oh, we spend so much time waiting. Oh, this is nerve-wracking. What happens if they get to us? I mean, they're not going to be happy. Also, if this is to be the final layer, well, it's, uh, it's quite clear we're not seeing daylight poke through those gaps. We're going to have to do all these things again. Nope. All right, diagnostic. Oil and coolant. All right. You with us right there. Close. Open. 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 Okay, you, uh, 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 or red was, red was there. Okay. You was there. Okay. Uh, oh no. Oh no, no, no. Close, 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 close. I said close, come on. There we go, come on. Okay, you, no, God. No, no! Pick up! I'm fighting with the controls here, or at least with the collision. There we go. Do, we do not need to wait for the diagnostic report. I will figure it out myself. What else could there be? I think we fixed everything that we would have had to fix prior to this. It's a good thing security is so slow. Maybe we barricaded our door. Two minutes, two minutes. If we have to fix one more thing, that should be fine. Yep, come on. Nope, diagnostics. Oil, coolant, battery! Uh, how did that run out so quickly? Oil, coolant, battery, and the drill bit. It's everything. It's everything all at once. I don't think we can do this. I think we've wasted too much time. That first. Oh no, we should 
We should come on you over there. Start. We gotta manage our time well. You oh no, I can't even tell what's what anymore. Okay, close. You close. 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 Wrong thing. You in there. Out. Are you almost done? Come on. You in there. Okay, that should be everything, I think. Uh, one minute. Go, 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 go. Is that one minute is in one minute? Or wait, both secure. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on. Uh. Is that one minute is in one minute or one minute is in less than two minutes? Why isn't this working? I can't. Why can't I secure the bolts? Come on. Bolts secure. What? Come on. Why isn't this working? Oh, come on. It's because of this. All right. Ugh. Why do we need to. We're pressing down. Go, 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 go. Just start, just start, just start, just start. We might, we might have, uh, we might have screwed this because those stupid bolts are needing to be clamped. Please, we are literally seconds away. Only halfway down that wall is all we need. God. So we're just gonna get immediately eaten by like a sandworm, right? That's what's gonna happen here? God, that's loud. Alright, so long losers. I am out. Presumably you're not gonna chase me. Or else you'd already be doing it. Ah, uh, let's just bask in the shade of this tree. Uh, I've already had my fill of sunlight. A note. This place isn't what it L. The rest of the note is unintelligible. Uh... 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 We are very slow. Our muscles have atrophied to such a state. Uh... Back, back into... Back into the prison cell! The other side. <laughs> uh, that was cool. Panic-inducing, but cool. Uh, inspired by Hugh Howey's Wool Omnibus. And of course, thank you so much for playing. I really hope you enjoyed it. Well, I did. It was panic-inducing. It had constant seeds of doubt, even while seeming like going forward was your only option. Uh, it was nice enough to give us a little, uh, essentially, tutorial first before it threw us in at the deep end. And in the end, there was margin for error while still not feeling like you had all the time in the world. On um, the... Uh the end screen changes, essentially now what we thought would be our escape being a quarantined larger tomb. I mean, presumably they're just going to bolt our door and never speak of us again. The fact that they killed everyone, or at least disappeared everyone, for catching a glimpse of the outside, well, that still leaves certain aspects of this world up for debate, but <laughs> I kind of saw that ending coming. And then in the end, that like, that sense of regret, of feeling like, yes, we're seeing our prison recede into the background, we've made it, we've finally gotten free from our oppression, and then that slow, nightmarish attempt to run back, but knowing there's simply no way... Basically what I'm saying is, I really appreciate games that are able to make you feel what they want you to feel, 
and to do so in an extreme but concise way. And this did that perfectly. Well, on to the next. Our final game of the night is Last Seen Online, a horror game from the perspective of what appears to be like a Windows XP desktop. Beyond that, I have no idea what this is going to be about. All we know is that it starts when we find an old computer at a garage sale, so we decide to turn it on. Huh. Looks like uh, an image of a child's birthday, January 23rd, 2000. And it's always so weird looking at photos of strangers that are dated. You try and think, wow, that baby would be like in their 20s now. Uh, password, password. <laughs> now this is actually hitting close to home to me, because a couple years ago I did actually uh, buy a couple of old desktops at a garage sale. And I'm proud to say I did actually guess the password on one. Hint. Little furry boy's name and my birth year. Okay, so you would have been born in the beginning of 1992. Uh, now what would... What would little furry boy's name be? Oh, uh, well, hmm. Maybe... Maybe Scotty actually shares a birthday with you? So, Scotty... 1992? There we go. Hmm. Now this is the other weird thing about it. When you look at someone else's desktop, it's something that's so completely personalized. A, a computer, and like these days usually a phone, is something that ends up being a reflection of its owner. Uh, but here, we have only clues as to who that is. Now, I see Lose Amp up there, a oh, Lose Amp player, and one, two, three, four pointing to different aspects of the image. Hmm, she actually... she actually password protected this folder. Uh, buddy list. Oh wait, we're actually connecting. Do we actually plug this thing into the internet? Okay, uh, Alone Girl 15. Have you seen Jenny's New World? Yeah, it was so cool. She really put a lot of time into it. One day I'll make a world just as cool. Hey, have you tried typing slash info in the other world chat? It shows you how long you've been online. Oh my god, this is embarrassing. 849 hours. Later I say, It worked! Get on Otherworld right now! Followed by, Hey, is this Liz? Oh, wait. Oh, wait, okay, so uh, I am I was confused. Orion is our friend. Alone Girl 15, that was Liz. You're... You're asking right now. I, I can't just say no? Can you remind me who this is? It's Orion. We used to be good friends. I'm surprised you don't remember me. That's fine. This is heartbreaking. Uh, yeah, just took a long break. Anything I can help you with? Asking what other world is would be kind of weird. But I don't see why they would know what photos for M is. What's other world? You gotta be joking. You don't remember? It's the game we played when we were kids. Are you sure this is Liz? We are being- Just explaining ourselves would be so much easier and would get us probably just as good of answers. Yeah, I'm sure. How do I get in? Just to make sure you are who you say you are. Can you tell me the order of the four events during our final... During our final ritual? Hold on, my memory's just fuzzy. Sure, take your time. You can probably find something on your computer to help refresh your memory. Yeah, I'm sure I could. Uh, wait, no, 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 I don't want to try again. I want to... Yeah, do you know what the passcode for photos is? Hmm, I don't remember. Try digging through your old chat logs. Maybe you sent it to someone. 
Okay, I'll try that out. Uh, all right, so if we reopen the buddy list, oh yeah, we can look at other we can look at other buddies. All right, so this person asked, "Hey, how's your day going?" It's good, just good. What are you up to? Nothing much. Just listening to music and playing games. How about you? Also just good here. Gotta study for the algebra test soon or else my mom's gonna kill me. Oh my god, didn't your mom yell at you last time? Yeah, but I think I can do better this time. Aw, you're doing your best. Don't let her get you down. My mom's also been on my butt lately. You too? Tell me about it. Keeps telling me that I'm so much like my dad. It's not my fault he left her, though. Every day it's just yelling and yelling. I'm not enough. Oh, that's rough. Yeah, it's been a while since I've seen my dad, too. Wonder how he's doing. I gotta go, but I do really enjoy talking to you. Good night. Yo, did you find the algebra homework yet? Hey, they're saying things at school. Are you okay? I know you don't want to talk about it, but I just want to make sure you're okay. I am why? I just got a C plus on the algebra test. Had a fight with my mom today. It's okay though. I hope you're doing well. This is getting very one-sided. Just got into our dream school? Okay, I'm so... You know, we're separated by... By not even knowing this person in probably decades, but I'm really happy happy for you, Aizen Lawson. Uh, saw a dog today. It looked a lot like Scotty. But after this, they just never replied. Hmm, but that tells us nothing about the ritual. You know, this is weird because, uh, on the one hand, it feels so wrong to be poking and prodding through somebody's personal life. Uh, somebody who... Uh, for all we know, something bad might have happened to. But also, I feel like anybody who was online years ago will get a special kind of sadness from this, you know? That feeling when you look over your friends list and see people who haven't been on in years? And all those memories of the times when you'd stay up late talking to them. It almost seems wrong, it almost seems impossible that you could have fallen out of touch with them for so long. All right, Scott and Jay. Hello, it is Scott from Otherworld. You wish to add me? Yes, <laughs> that's the face I make when I reply to people. So what you talked about, the ritual, I've been thinking about it. It'll help me leave? Ah, uh, yes, the Baphomet ritual. Okay, jumping off the deep end here. I would describe it more as the Konami code of the universe. It won't help you leave, but... It will bring your consciousness, your code, into enlightenment. I can show you forever. Hmm, okay. Also, you have the same name as my dog. <laughs> Did you get the link from my game? Did you get my link from the game? So this is it? Are you sure it works? You're the one who asked for my help. The path towards eternal sanctity lies within here. Do you seek eternal happiness or not? The process has begun. Are you ready? Yeah, but I'm a little scared. Don't be scared, little one. I will meet you soon. Oh, and in distorted text from Liz, you promised me you wouldn't leave. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. The user is offline. Wait until they get back on. Now look, it's one thing to think of this as... As someone contacting some paranormal entity through the internet, but, you know, this actually looks almost a lot like grooming, or even, or even how young kids can be drawn into, like, a cult. Promise them the world, promise them solutions, and you can get them to believe all kinds of crazy stuff. Eternal Juice sounds like a bro. ASL? I'm just 14. The sweet nectar of youth. I cannot wait for you to join us. What? Yeah, no, this is definitely... This is definitely all giving overtones of something eh, much worse than the paranormal. That is so creepy. Alright, uh, where's Chris Hansen when you need him? 
And I'm talking new Chris Hansen, not that uh, subdued old one. All right, Ember eighty six. I'm assuming that uh, I'm assuming that this is going to be the M that's blocked out here. Ah, uh, Lawson is so cute. Ah, uh, that ah, uh, that's the one you were chatting with up top. Why don't you just ask him out? There's no way he likes me. I'm not pretty. What? You are so pretty. Uh, my mom says I don't have her nose. I have my dad's big nose. I hate it. Your mom sounds like a real awful person, you know that? Don't listen to her. You're bootyful. I just want to run away. Em, I hate it on Earth. Uh, even if Lawson doesn't love you, I'll always love you. BFF. My mom is taking away my computer. But I found a way, Em. Sorry, I was studying. What's going on? Your mom is so weird. Now, what this is making me think of right now is like almost like a Heaven's Gate situation. Because the way she's talking, it sounds like what she really wants is an escape from her life. And, uh, well, it sounds like the other people have found a solution to quote unquote leave this world. And here, sorry, I was studying. It's like, uh, imagine coming back to that and getting no replies. Liz, we haven't talked in like two weeks. What have you been up to? Oh, sorry. I I've just been hanging with some friends I met on Otherworld. I did it. I found out how to get out of here forever. <laughs> Where are you going? Paris? I sent you the photos. Did you get them? We performed these steps yesterday for Orion. Soon I'll be free. Yeah, the zip file? But it's got a four-digit passcode. It's four of my songs on my Lose Ant play playlist. Oh. I don't get it. You have eight songs. Are you still using our BFF desktop wallpaper? You need to close every window except for Lose Ant. The wallpaper will show you the order. Oh, that's crazy. Oh my god, I just dragged the window. Okay, what's next? Listen to the lyrics. Oh, now, you're really smart. Oh my god, why do you have a pick of Lawson? No, that was on accident. These are weird picks. So are you interested? And here, in that same distorted text... Emily, it worked. Who is this? It's me, Liz. I'm still learning how to control this. Listen, I don't know what kind of sick joke you're playing, but this is seriously messed up. I'm blocking you. That is so weird. All right. Well, maybe this doesn't end in as mundane a place as I was expecting. But okay, we've got to open up Lose Amp. Keep only this here. One, two, three, four. Babbling river upon that glows A hot spring over, overflows All three things, oh, oh, I know, I know Sorry, I was just uh, listening to this. This is delightful. But okay, Roma Pizza 25 2 Yeah, I remember ninth grade. All three, three. There was a two in there, so I think it's going to be three, two in heaven. Well, in heaven, everything is fine. Wake at 7 it's like heaven. Probably seven. These are like leg legitimately pretty good. It says three, two, seven. Am I a dream that you 
drink Why am I a snack that you ate <laughs> Nice try So three, two, seven, eight However, I am going to listen to the rest of these because maybe they're important. I don't want to be buried six feet under the ground If you are not around Don't want to be alone I don't want to leave this world If you are not by my side Now, if we were to assume a meaning here, maybe she intended to take M with her, and that didn't happen. Imagine how heartbroken she would have been if she had if she had actually tapped into something and then was rejected. Oh shit! Um. <laughs> yep, that's a demo, all right. <laughs> yep, that's the 2000s in a nutshell. It's so funny how heights I super clear a vision. It's so funny how you hide what you're really thinking. I had three eyes open now. I tried you all night. Please don't say that it's over I put my luck on a four-leaf clover Don't say it's nostalgia I'd rather stay in the past if I want to Hmm, sorry, I was just uh, sitting here legitimately enjoying this all right, so it was three, two, something, seven. Oh, wait, three, two, seven, eight, I think. And yeah, all of this, like, it, it goes towards painting a picture of what in the moment would have been teenage angst, but now creates like a nostalgic sadness. Three, two, seven, eight. Three, two, eight, seven. No. It has to be something to do with the fact that only lose amp can be open. And I think I just figured out what it is. Oh my god, that took forever. All right, it's a picture frame. Yay. Okay, so it points to one, seven. I already know what they are. All right, seven. Four. Seven, four, three. And this was six. So seven, four, three, six. That's cool. It annoyed the crap out of me, but yeah, that's cool. All right, shut up now. I've listened to you several times each, but apparently we just extracted those all over the desktop. I would have done that in a more organized fashion. ASDFH.txt. It looks like all my old homework assignments. 824, just found my old notebook and got inspired to make a digital version. It was weird reading it. Lots of things I went through four years ago sound like me right now. It's like I keep going through the same problems over and over again. August 27th. Whoops, had to study for a quiz. Didn't get to update as much as I wanted. August 27th, you're studying for a quiz. August 28th. I've been spending a lot of time on the computer com on the computer lately. I really should get out more. I met a new friend named Orion, though. He showed me a new game today. September 2nd. Just saw a post on Zanga that Kev NG just recently passed away. It was weird seeing it. I felt kind of emotionless. It just was. There were a bunch of comments on the post. Rip Kev and stuff like that. I didn't really know him. I don't know how to feel. 
September 3rd. I forgot. Kev's locker used to be right below mine. I used to have to move out of the way whenever he came and I would hear his voice. Hi, excuse me. I was so used to it. When I closed the locker, I realized I didn't hear him, and I didn't have to move out of the way. And then I cried. I couldn't stop crying. Death is so scary to me. Just, how can someone just be gone? Every little thing about this person, everything they were going to do tomorrow, Kev going to class the next day, or Kev preparing for spirit week? Next week, it all just stops. September 4th. Loss and Em and I visited the land. The, wait, the Landis exit today off 680. Someone put a white cross where Kev and his dad crashed. I wrote Kev a letter and dropped it off. September 5th. Mom found out that Lawson drove me to visit Kev's grave and got hella mad. She told me in her stupid broken English that I was a criminal. She said I ruined her beauty by being born and the least I can do is be a good child. I stayed late after school in the library's computer lab. I wanted, I wanted, I vented to Orion. I walked home and went into my room. Mom was quiet, didn't say anything to me. September 6th. My mom called the cops yesterday. She reported me missing. And then today she called the cops again, telling them to arrest me because she thought I was doing drugs yesterday? WTF! September 13th. Sorry, computer. Been a couple days. Ran away. I spent the week at Em's place. Em is such a really good friend. Em's mom called my mom. My mom and I ended up talking. She took me out to my favorite Chinese place with honey walnut shrimp. She told me how tough it is to do all this alone and how she doesn't know how to do it. Sometimes I can't understand her, but most of the time I don't. She just says really weird stuff sometimes. I understand she loves me and wants me to grow up well, and I love her, and I love how goofy she can be sometimes, but she just says the meanest things. October 13th. My mom is always visiting Grandma, so I skipped class. Orion has been sending me some horror mangas because of Halloween. Last night we got obsessed with looking up serial killer stories. He introduced me to Scott. I might visit them soon. October 31st. I don't want to leave this world if you're not by my side. Do the chat logs have dates on them? They don't. Man, this is crazy because it, it almost seems like it's leaning a little bit in an occult direction, but all of this should be relatable to anyone who was online in the 2000s. Uh, Lawson.jpg, uh, image one, hmm, that sort of looks like, uh, like a Doom mod or something, but with real photos of people on the wall and flowers, almost like it's being dropped off as if it were a memorial. Image two, uh, Baphomet. These must be screenshots from that other world game. Three, a couple of cherubs by a fountain. And four, uh. Okay, so what is that? That's the flowers, Baphomet, the fountain, and the candles. So I think we're ready to answer the question now. So now we can go through that. How do I get in? Try to remember. And so first, it's we respected the four fallen. That might be right. That might be wrong. What's next? A uh, two was... Hmm. Maybe we blessed the statue? Okay, could be what happened, but I won't tell you. What then? Uh, okay, uh, we gazed upon the fountain... And finally, we lit candles for our tributes. Now, our tributes... Oh, they look quite distorted. Hmm. Okay, I believe you. For now. You need to register a new account. The invite code is Neverland298. 
Hey, Liz, I'm gonna be right back. <laughs> See ya. This person was waiting for me, like, the second I got back on. I mean, it could be they just see our little online light come on, but... I don't know, they talk normal, but... I really have to wonder who it is on the other end. Although, funnily enough, so do they. Alright, so let's register. Invite code... Neverland298. What are we going to see? That said your camera is on. So they saw me too. An empty chair, a bloodstain, and flies buzzing about. Well, we've logged in. What's your name? Liz. I've got to keep it up. Ooh, system. Welcome to Otherworld. Click on the arrows to navigate around our world. Some objects are special, so click around. Enjoy your time here. And Orion says in chat, You aren't Liz. Let's go forward towards whatever this formation is. Oh, the spear representing creativity. It's what keeps us alive. The cube representing community. It's what connects us. The pyramid representing structure. It's what holds us together. Oh. Uh, we're in the red room, but it became a dance floor. This is Disco, the liveliest hangout spot in Otherworld. Hit the dance floor and make yourself a friend or ten? Uh, there's always music in the air. Dance the night away. Otherworld is always full of players to meet and dance with. The clock is ticking. What is that object over there? A lone girl 15. Oh, hello, friend. She's still here. Oh, well, let's hit the dance floor. Oh, we can't. All right, we are chasing you down, then. Look at you. Just a smiley face. House of Baphomet. Empty, click here to upload world. The Nexus, home of all custom user worlds. Upload yours, or check out the vast cosmos of worlds already uploaded. We can upload me.jpg. Only .world files allowed. Well, alright, let's enter the house of Baphomet then. Oh, look at this. This is about as good as you could do for a browser game in 3D at the time. Is this where the Fallen were displayed? Before you is the House of Baphomet, a multidimensional plane connecting all worlds within worlds. To enter, you must follow the guidance of those who came before you. Uh. Although we lost our friends in the outer worlds, they will never be forgotten in our virtual world. Pay respects by clicking on their portraits. We've got to follow the ritual. Maybe... Maybe an order of age? Rip Jordan, August 3rd, 1988 to September 11th, 2001. We either tap out or we hold on. Sometimes holding down will give you a different result than just tapping. What, is, what does that mean? And September 11th, 2001. You look a little young for that. Uh, March 13th, 2002. Opportunity is a knock at the door. Sometimes it's several knocks. I don't think the dates are what's relevant. I think... 
I think you're telling us what we need to do. December 31st, 1999. Look at how the stars shine. See how they twinkle and blink. September 11th, 2001. Bits and bytes are just ones and zeros. Two states of being. On and off, soft and loud, short and long. But in those two states, they hold eternity. Okay, well I thought I had it at first, and no, I'm not really sure. Ah, so holding down does work for longer. Oh, it turns red. Oh my god. How did that not work before? Something in the door changes. You've done something. Or part of something. I feel like I've done that a million times. Okay, but that's not right for you then? Oh, are you referring to the literal shine that shows up when I click on you? All right, three long and a short then. Okay. Do I have to take you in this order then? Oh, it's the it's that way for all of you. Okay, my god. I, I was trying to use like the I was trying to use your descriptions and that's not even what I'm supposed to be looking at. All right, long, short. Long, short. Oh, come on. There we go. And now you. Short, long, short, long. <sighs> Finally, the door unlocks. And we don't even have the option of moving down. Do we have to go back? No, but we can click to go forward. The door closes behind you. The Order of Baphomet is only for those destined to escape our simulated dreamscape. All statues must be blessed in what is defined by the Order. One statue is greedy and requires multiple blessings. Which simulated reality are you talking about? Okay, so let's look here. Uh, you don't like that. Well, I blessed the goat, I suppose. One is greedy and requires multiple blessings. There's the lion on the right. The eagle or hawk on the left. And back to the cow. And you bless the ox. Okay, but there's got to be an order to it. Maybe it's red, green, yellow. Maybe it's red, green, yellow, pink. So let's try that. Let's go. Let's go red, green. And then the lion is yellow, pink. But then how do I know which one is greedy and requires multiple blessings? There we go. I just kind of clicked that a bunch of times. I don't know how we were supposed to figure out that you were the greedy one. But apparently an intelligent one I am. A door opens up behind the statue. Uh... A simulation, a fever dream, or both. These look rearrangeable. Oh boy. Alright, so if I click these, what happens? Blood will begin to flow from different levels. I. Th there's no way I'm gonna be able to make heads or tails of this. Okay, so first would be. 
this. Oh, I see. If we forget the flow, it forms a shape, a solid shape. So that's going to be F, 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 uh, U, and U. That's going to be, hmm, are we going to call that an O? F, O, R, F, O, R, for real. F O R E. So F O R E V. F O R E V E. I'm going to bet that it's forever. I, I, I like to guess. Uh, for a mm, ver. Well, we've come this far. Oh, God. Uh, we're being quizzed. Whose bond do you trust the most? Oh, I see. Whose bond do I trust the most? Maybe... No? It's gotta be her. Who is your unrequited desire? Lawson. Who is the sole controller of your fate? I'm gonna give the answer you probably don't want. Your tributes have been accepted. SB Cheats 1, God, no clip, Impulse 101, yes, it's my dream! Consciousness Triangulation, warning, tributes do not match life aura, overriding. How long has it been? Thank you for uploading those pictures. I wondered if I would ever see their faces again. I even forgot what I used to look like. I haven't seen another person here in a long time. A long time ago, I was approached by a man. He promised me forever. I wondered if I would ever see their faces again. Oh, it's... We're seeing some of those things again. I decided to upload myself onto the internet. Uploaded myself into this game. At first it was great. We created so many beautiful things here. The world used to be so crowded with so many new faces to meet every day, but now... People leave, grow old, move on to the next thing, but Otherworld stays the same, forever. Without the players, all the player-created worlds are gone. Eventually, everyone who performed the ritual tried to delete themselves. But how is a soul stored in a file system? I hear them sometimes screaming. Their consciousness merged with some arbitrary system file. This place is all I have left. All things deteriorate. Even this, how could we have known I miss Emily? I miss going on the computer with her, playing flash games, sleeping over, watching TV shows together. I wonder who she grew up to become. I miss Lawson. I miss talking to him about my problems. I miss how comforting he was. I don't want him to see me like this. I miss my mom. I miss our stupid fights. It's all so meaningless now. If I could have realized how temporary it all was, I used to be afraid of getting bad grades. I used to be afraid of not looking pretty enough. I used to be afraid of disappointing people. I used to be afraid of death. But now, I'm afraid of forever. But you're here now, aren't you? You performed the ritual. Only a few minutes until you join me, and then I won't be alone. Forever. Uh, memory bounds exceeded. I keep seeing your account online and offline. 
I've been messaging you every year since you left, maybe hoping you would reply, Lawson. I visited you today, left some flowers and some hide shoe. I decided that it's time to move on. You're not coming back, are you, Liz? I've missed you so much. No, 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 goodbye. I don't want to be alone. I don't want to be alone. I don't want to be alone. The world's encountered a problem and needs to close. We are sorry for the inconvenience. If you were in the middle of something, the information you were working on might be lost. We've created an error report that you can send to us. Send or don't send. This never felt so important. Let's send. <laughs> Congratulations, thank you so much for playing. It's always been a dream of mine to create a puzzle horror game, and I am so thankful that you decided to play all the way through to the end. Please stick around and scroll down for credits. Ah, oh, bravo. That was amazing. A couple of the puzzles, it was a little unclear what I was supposed to be doing at times, but, you know, they were nicely deep and logical once you figure them out. And the story there, it's... <laughs> It is so heavy, and even though it is a supernatural story, I think a lot of people who were kids during this time will be able to relate to it in a really deep way. I mean, that is such a gut punch of an ending. And it's all about not being able to move on for one reason or another, for being stuck in one period of your life, for ending your life and always being stuck in that state permanently as a memory. And even from a literal perspective, imagine being this spirit, having this horrible home life, feeling totally inadequate, but having this one place, this virtual world where you feel special and like you have friends, and then finding a way to make that your real reality, so scared of the temporary nature of life only to find out that this digital world was temporary as well, and you've only succeeded in making yourself immortal. My head is just racing with thoughts from this, which is a sign of a very good narrative, and I'm sure I'm not covering everything right now, but it's a game that's all about so many things, and is able to be relatable while still being so fantastic, so it's doing a ton with its premise, and it's executing it all really, really well. And it works not just as a very effective horror game, but also as a look at who we used to be and who we are now, and what it takes to get from one to the other, and what it could have been if we hadn't made that transition. And if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this game out for yourself, or any of the other games, those links will be in the description. If you want to support me on Patreon, that link will be in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one.